JCYC in its early years was developed as a vehicle to bring all the different youth organizations together in the Japanese community for policy uh, and to uh, develop uh, a common agenda of what young people could do in their own community. I became uh, executive director when a time when there weren't too many takers because the agency's budget was $30,000 a year and we were located in a redevelopment building that we were paying a dollar a year for for rent. Uh, what I was proud of is that as the, our opportunities grew, both not only in Japantown but citywide, uh, I left the agency to go work for Willie Brown and uh, we had grown to a much larger staff as well as servicing uh, one of the and starting one of the youth employment programs that now uh, grew from 500 young people to I think they're serving over 2,000 young people a year right now in San Francisco. Uh, I'm proud of that. What I learned most from Jeff is really how to build relationships with other communities, how to be sensitive to their histories and their cultures and how to, to work together. And I think that it's very unique here in San Francisco that the partnerships he's been able to create, a lot of people don't know this, but JCYC manages um, some of the biggest youth partnerships in San Francisco, and a lot of that is because of Jeff. Jeff has become a father figure to me because of the trust and confidence. Um, he treats me, I, I feel that he treats me like, although professionally as a peer, but personally I feel he treats me like um, a little sister. He's always asking me how I'm doing and, you know, making that time to just, you know, check in with me is very special for me. So, um, yeah, Jeff has been very, not only a great mentor, but um, a super father figure. I was very sympathetic to that because uh, we, we did have young people who were engaging seriously in addiction uh, through uh, medicating themselves through different types of drugs uh, and, and fortunately over the years I saw a few of them die at very early ages. I was something that I felt I could accomplish because they hired me because of my not my experience with substance abuse treatment but because of my experience in administering and making a community agency grow. I credit Sandy with a lot of my success because I think it's important that uh, you have a partner and uh, that could support you uh, both uh, philosophically and emotionally in the endeavors that you're involved with and whether I was in public service or not. When you get a thank you, when you see success of a younger person who uh, might have gone in a different young, a path or you see new leadership emerge in the community from efforts that you help participate in, well, I think that's worth its weight in gold.